Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to um, this presentation that Select Health has put together for Software Technology Group, just to talk about some of the value added services that we have for 2021. We'll go through some of these, and then I'm going to turn it over to Madison McKay from our wellness team, who's going to do some um, great little exercises that you can do while you're sitting at your desk. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was how we've expanded your $0 coverage in 2021. You would now have a lot of options to get care for $0 out of pocket with your Select Health Plan. Um, during the pandemic and then now moving forward, Intermountain Healthcare and other providers have created new ways to connect with patients, including wide expansion of video visits, telephone visits, electronic messages. Um, during COVID, a lot of providers we're able to kind of reimagine what they can do to help their patients virtually. So many doctors are now doing video visits, phone visits, and even answering questions via direct secure messaging instead of a visit. Um, and as providers have expanded their virtual options to connect with patients, Select Health has made sure that these virtual services are covered under your plan. Typically, if the virtual visit is an on-demand urgent care visit through Connect Care, uh, you'll pay zero dollars for the visit, regardless of whether you're on a traditional plan or a high deductible health plan. Um, that's something that's been new for 2021. The IRS allowed uh, high deductible plans to waive deductible on these Connect Care visits, which is great. Um, other types of visits, including follow up visits over the phone or a scheduled visit with your doctor that you may do through the Connect Care platform, will have the regular office visit copay or coinsurance. Um, and then on top of that, all all COVID tests and vaccinations are covered at 100%. And we strongly believe that vaccinations are both safe and effective at preventing the spread of COVID-19. So just to reiterate that, all members on traditional plans and high deductible health plans can now use Connect Care for urgent care at no cost. Connect Care is a great option for things you might otherwise go to urgent care or your primary care doctor for. Things like bronchitis, conjunctivitis, flu, coughs, fevers, colds, urinary tract infections, um, and, and other things. Um, with there being no cost, there's no risk to, to trying it out. If they can't help you, then there's no cost to you and you'll, you can go in for a visit to the doctor, but um, it's worth a try. It's great, especially for those times when your child wakes up at three in the morning and, and they're sick and there's nowhere to go but the emergency room and Connect Care is a great option for that. Um, one cool benefit is that you can access Connect Care with, with what we call single sign-on. And that means that you use the same username and password that you use for your Select Health account. You'll use that same password to connect with Connect Care. So you don't have to have a lot of different usernames for, for the different um, services that, that Select Health has. One thing that's really great is that we're also now offering $0 psychiatric visits through Connect Care. This has come up because of the shortage of mental health care professionals and people sometimes having to wait months to get in to get on the right medication for psychiatric concerns. Um, and this works a little bit different than traditional Connect Care. So um, this is only available to members that live in U Utah and Idaho at this time. Um, and and uh, what you do is you is you get on your Select Health or on your Select Health app, and you will schedule an appointment. So it's not quite an on-demand care, but they do have same-day appointments available. And then you'll book that appointment. And the the feedback that I've gotten on this is just that the the providers manning this, the psych the psychiatrists manning this, are just phenomenal. They have such a great understanding of medications. Um, and have really helped people to get access to those a lot quicker than they normally would. Um, so they they can um, treat mild to moderate conditions, including anger or mood swings, anxiety, ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, insomnia, panic attacks, PTSD, stress, um, and even substance abuse and, and misuse. Um, and, and again, they're really looking at prescribing medication and um, managing referrals to specialists. 
Okay, and then we also have our, our Intermountain Health Answers line. This is also free of charge. And, you know, this, this should be a replacement probably for when we Google, <laughs> I've got this symptom, what do I have? And, and Google comes up with that you're dying of cancer. Um, so this is a great resource just to talk to one of our select health nurses. They are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and just can help you decide what options you have you should seek for care if you have something come up. Okay, and then just the 100% coverage is, is available for so many things for the preventive things, cancer screenings, contraception, annual exams, many lab tests, pediatric care. Um, so many of those things are available at 100% coverage and it's so important to go in at least once a year and check in with your doctor, make sure everything's running smoothly, that you're healthy. Um, and if you're of, of age, you know, getting those mammograms and colonoscopies, just making sure everything is, is okay. It's a lot, uh, not only cheaper, but um, catching things early can really save your life. So it's important to get those screenings done. Okay, and then I'm just going to talk for a minute just about our our local customer service and we've we've won awards from JD Power and the National Committee for Quality Assurance and many of our members really can testify as to to how great Select Health customer service is. So one number that you need to remember and and that number can get you connected to anything that you need um, whether you need a referral to a specialist, you need a care manager, you need to help help finding a provider just having that number on hand can get you uh, what you need. So our member advocates are awesome. Um, we all know how, how it is trying to find a specialist and you call five different doctor's offices and it's a two month wait to get in. So rather than doing that, you can call our member advocates team and they can help you find appointments in your area. Uh, a lot of times sooner than you could get on your own by calling each office. Um, they know which providers are in the network who's covered and and they can even make those appointments for you. So a great resource. Okay, another way that you can um, communicate with us is through online chat. You just need to log into your Select Health account and you can uh, reach out via chat to customer service. And if you have to talk to somebody over the phone, um, and maybe you know your lunch hours at a certain time, you don't have time to just sit and wait, you can let us know that specific time and we can call you um, at a time that's convenient for you. Um, care management, this is a great resource and, and it's really been expanded recently. Um, just having nurses that can help you manage all types of different things. It used to be that just those with diseases could have help from a nurse or a care manager. Um, but now we're actually expanding that to anyone that needs help. So if you're looking just to lose weight and, and need some guidance on that, you can call in and a care manager can help you with that. Um, on top of that, any of the chronic diseases, if you need help, um, you know, to quit smoking or, or maybe you're pregnant, there's a lot of great resources with that that I'll talk about in just a minute. Okay, then we've got great digital healthcare. A lot of things available to you. Um, so I talked about single sign-on that you can use to connect uh, many different things with the same username and password. Okay, one of our most popular tools that we have is the medical cost estimator tool, and that's also available through single sign-on. Um, you can find out how much a procedure costs before you get it, where the cheapest place is to get it, and, and the app will take into account your deductible, your out-of-pocket max, anything that you have to meet first and, and let you know uh, pretty accurately how much your out-of-pocket costs will be to really help you plan for, for big procedures that are coming up. Okay, one huge benefit for Select Health members who use Intermountain Healthcare facilities is that you will receive the lowest cost at those facilities. So people who have other insurance that come to Intermountain's facilities are going to pay more than you will. Um, having Select Health gets you the best price than any other carrier um, at any Intermountain facility. And Intermountain and Select Health have even worked out some low shoppable pricing on some common procedures like baby births, um, certain MRIs and CT scans, endoscopies, colonoscopies, and some lab tests. Um, 
You can see these low shoppable prices on the medical cost estimator tool, um, but you can be assured that having Select Health, you will receive the lowest cost of anyone being a Select Health member. Okay, let's look at your prescription benefits and, and specifically how you can get prescriptions and save money. Um, we have a lot of different access points for you to pick up your medications, whether you prefer having your medications delivered to your door using a big national chain or um, your local in-network neighborhood pharmacy, we have you covered. You can even get 90-day supplies for many drugs that you take on a regular basis. Um, we have a tool called RX Saving Solutions uh, that will help you maximize your prescription benefits. Um, you should have received a notification to sign up. Um, there's, you, you'll also see um, a link within your Select Health account that you can sign up. So when you get the sign up notification um, on your account, just make sure you take advantage and sign up. And once you have signed up for this, you'll get notified if you have any savings opportunities. You don't even have to do anything. Just sign up. Um, you can also invite your dependents to sign up and, and see if they have savings available as well. And the way that it works is that the savings are identified in a lot of different ways. There could be a cheaper generic drug for what you're taking, or it could be that you are taking um, a combo drug that if it's split into its separate base drugs might be a lot less expensive. So I'm gonna just show an example here. Duexis is a brand name drug that costs more than $2,000, but all it is is an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen and an antacid combined into one pill. So a member could easily take the anti-inflammatory and the antacid separately and save thousands of dollars for both themselves and for the plan. So RX Saving Solutions uh, works to identify these expensive drug traps and help save you money. Um, and when they do identify savings that you want to take advantage of, they do the work of contacting your doctor and arranging a new prescription to save you money. You don't have to do anything. Um, they'll take care of all of that for you. Okay, as a Select Health member, you also have discounts that you can access to stay healthy. Some of those things include acupuncture, uh, cosmetic dermatology, Lasix, uh, eyewear and sunglasses, um, memberships to gyms and health clubs, hearing aids and child safety. So even though it might not be covered by your medical plan, we still want you to live your healthiest life possible. So we, we do provide discounts on, on these things and you can see the details about those by visiting our website. Okay, and then you have a chance to choose between different plans. So let's look at the networks that are available. So Select Health Med with out-of-network benefits is available to anyone living anywhere in the United States. That's something that is new for 2021. Um, in Utah, it includes all of Intermountain Healthcare as well as key University of Utah clinics and specialists. And this network includes 1,700 more providers than our Select Health Value Network, which is the base network. Um, in Idaho, those that live in Idaho will access the St. Luke's Bright Path Network. And then in Nevada, they will ac access the Select Health Value Network. Outside of those three states, which is what we consider our Select Health Service Area, you'll have access to the United Healthcare Options PPO Network, and you'll have in-network providers nationwide. Um, this, your version of Select Health Med does include out-of-network benefits. Um, you can see an out-of-network provider at a lesser benefit, but I, really caution you against that. Out-of-network providers do not have a contract with Select Health. They can charge you really whatever they want. And so let's say, for example, you go to see them, they charge $300 for the visit. Select Health says, you know, $100 is what we allow for this visit, and that's what we pay. A contracted provider would have to write off the difference, but an out-of-network provider is not obligated to do that and can charge you the full $300. So just just um, if at all possible, stay within the network if you can. And as always, no matter where you're traveling, emergencies are covered at um, the in-network level. Okay, so through COVID, a lot of employees um, like you, like me, are working from home, working remotely. Um, so a lot of workers even live in a different state than their employer. So, so that's 
one reason why we added this out of network um, or the, these options nationwide to give you access to United Healthcare. Um, this network includes 83% of all US hospital beds and two thirds of, of all healthcare providers. That's a total of 850,000 providers in the United sta States. Um, if you ever need help finding a provider, again, just call our member services line and you can talk to somebody that can help. Um, the one great thing about this is that now all members nationwide have access to Select Health and our outstanding customer service. Okay, um, we are known for our customer service, for helping our members and communicating. You have the same benefits no matter where you live or work. Um, your prescriptions, you're, you're gonna have the same prescription coverage, quick authorization, that RX saving solutions tool and over 55,000 pharmacies nationwide. Okay, all right. That's all I have for today. So um, I just wanna turn the time over to Madison, who's gonna go through some healthy exercises while you're at your desk. Wonderful, thank you so much, Amy. That was really helpful information, even for someone that works at Select Health. It's a good reminder. <laughs> Um, all right, let me go ahead and share my screen. Give me just one second. Hope everyone's having a good day. Perfect. And can you guys see that presentation okay? Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So today I have the privilege of coming and giving the staying active while sitting at a desk presentation to you guys. And this one's really exciting because um, a lot of us obviously are working. If you're watching this or if you're tuning in right now, most likely you're working um, and you're sitting at a desk for long periods of time. So this is kind of helpful to give you a little overview. I'm gonna start off by providing you with some background on the benefits of staying active um, and, and why staying active is so important. And then we'll uh, transition into a few, or I guess a little workout that you can do at your desk that can help you um, feel rejuvenated throughout your work day. So first of all, I want to begin by talking about the effects of sitting. We've heard that, at least in the health industry, we hear that sitting is the new smoking. So sitting all day can lead to numerous health effects, believe it or not, including an increased risk for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and even some cancers, which is crazy. Uh, sitting also can lead to weakened muscles, which can make you more prone to injury, uh, you can, over time, it can lead to poor posture, and there are even psychological effects that you can develop over time, including anxiety and depression. So now that we know kind of the effects of sitting, I want you to ask yourselves, and since we have a smaller group today, um, you can just think to yourself, maybe answer it for yourself. If you're watching this later on, ask yourself this question, what differences have you felt when you're more active throughout the day. I think when we take the time to sit and ponder this question and the times that we have been physically active and its benefits, um, hopefully you can you can find something. I know for me, I usually have an increase in energy so that I'm more productive throughout the day. Um, exercise also releases what's called endorphins, which are also known as our feel go good hormones and they can assist with stress management and can even help someone to experience a mental clarity in a way, right? Maybe you've heard of someone saying when they go for a run or they do something that's physically active, they, their mind is more clear afterwards. And that's due to those endorphins. Um, physical activity can also help improve your blood pressure, your heart rate and normalize blood sugar levels. And being active also can help to improve your self-esteem, your body image, how you view yourself as a person, both physically um, and mentally. And um, 
Being physically active also allows you to have a wider range of motion. And more than anything, this is kind of interesting, it helps to preserve lean muscle mass. Um, for those that aren't quite as familiar with lean muscle mass, over time, as we age, we lose lean muscle mass. And although I wish there is some magic cure or something out there where you could take a supplement or work out and um, build up that lean muscle mass, uh, we actually can only, the only thing we can really do is maintain it. So being, staying active throughout your life, especially in your 30s and 40s, is really a crucial time to help preserve that lean muscle mass. And then finally, physical activity can also lead to other healthy behaviors, such as choosing better foods. Um, and maybe, maybe you get a better quality of sleep at night. I know for me personally, um, I like to be physically active after I work. And so it's closer towards the evening and that tends to help me make better choices with my, my dinner that night. And I've also noticed a great increase in the quality of my sleep that night. So um, whether you like to be physically active in the mornings, throughout the day or in the evenings, as you can tell, there are so many benefits to being active. And one thing that I kind of want to debunk really quick, one little myth, is a lot of people when they hear physically active, they think that that means you have to go to the gym, right? And go lift weights or do some cardio, um, go for a run. That is false. Well, those are good things you can do. Try to find something that you enjoy, or it could be something as simple as the exercise that I'm going to show you next. So um, moving in to the exercise for today, some of you might be looking at this and thinking cars, what the heck? What is cars? Um, I learned about this when I was in college and it's something that I think everyone can benefit greatly from. CARS is an acronym and it stands for Controlled Articular Rotations. So let's break this down a little bit more so you can kind of understand what this exercise is going to consist of. First of all, what is CARS? Let's break it down. Uh, C for controlled means that it's purposeful, deliberate, and smooth. Articular means that we're dealing with our articulations. And for those of you that might not be, might not have taken an anatomy course, our articulations are actually, another name for them are our joints. So all of our joints in our body. And then finally, rotations. Rota they, this includes rotational movements ideally through end ranges of motion. So controlled articular rotations. So now that I've kind of given you an overview, we've talked about it a little bit, why is it so important to practice cars? Maybe you're hearing this for the first time and you're like, well, I didn't even know it was important to do cars. Let's go over a few benefits and why it's so important. First of all, your body prioritizes repairing and improving the tissues that you use the most frequently or the most often. I like to think of the phrase that go, the use it or lose it phrase, right? We reference that a lot when we're talking about muscle and lifting weights, um, but it also applies to our joints. As we neglect to use certain joints over time, especially if we're sitting at our desk, um, we might be over time lose that range of motion. The connective tissues of the joint capsules in our body are nourished by movement as well. And as we're moving our joints, uh, our body produces a fluid that's called synovial joint fluid. And I like to think of synovial joint fluid, uh, or I like to compare it to WD-40 that we have in real life, right? Um, on a rusty, stiff piece of metal. Basically, it acts as a lubricant for your joints and keeps them mobile and healthy. And finally, I think it's important to note, and I've kind of already mentioned it before, but we, most of us, we're working full-time, right? Or part-time, whatever it is. And we're spending a lot of time sitting in only a few positions. Um, some of us sit at a desk all day. Maybe we do get up for a lunch break, but what do we do? We get up, we walk over to the break room or to our kitchen if we're working from home. And what do we do? We, we sit back down to eat our meal. Um, and we also, when we're sleeping at night, that, you know, that's another story too, but six to eight hours, we're, we're sleeping in a same few set of positions. So keep that in mind. Um, basically, CARS, controlled articular rotations, even if they're done at a low intensity, 
can do more for your joints to keep them healthy and feeling good than sporadic stretching or even dropping into a yoga or stretching class once a week. So that's kind of interesting. Let's move on. So this is the outline for the CARS exercise. Uh, this is being recorded. So obviously you can reference this recording or if you wanna take a picture of it on your phone so that you can do it on your own time as well, that would be great. Um, I want to note before we get started that if you hear, feel, or experience any sort of popping while we're doing these exercises, that's completely normal. It might sound kind of freaky as you're rolling certain joints, um, as long as there's not any pain associated with it. So if there is pain with the popping or just pain, just don't continue the exercise or don't push yourself any further because it's over time. Uh, the hope is over time that as you do cars more and more often, you're going to improve that range of motion and hopefully eliminate the pain and the popping. So I would invite you guys now to follow along with me to enjoy the benefits of improved range of motion from cars bathing your joints in synovial joint fluid, and washing away those calcium deposits and other waste that can cause inflammation and pain in our bodies. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is the head and neck region. Um, this is gonna be really simple. You can do it sitting from your office desk, but what you're gonna do, or sorry, from your chair, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chin and you're gonna push it down into your chest as far as you can, and you should feel good stretch in that neck. I know for me, when I'm sitting at my desk all day um, and looking at a computer screen, my neck and shoulders get so tight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate in a full circle. And remember, the CARS acronym is Controlled Deliberate Motions. So we're gonna do a full circle and I'm starting with my left side, okay? So we're gonna do five of these, nice and slow. I always hear popping, maybe you don't. If you feel pain, don't continue. We're going to do five, so that's three, four, one more, and five. Perfect. Now we're going to do the exact same thing going towards our right. So again, or whichever direction you haven't done yet. Take that chin for me, push it down into your chest as far as you can, and we're going to go the opposite direction. So same thing, nice big circles, rolling that neck. I'm going to do this five times. Two. Three. Four. One more, and five. Awesome. So that is the head and neck region uh, of the CARS exercise. Moving on, we're going to do our, oops, let's see, where did it put me? Shoulders and scapula area. So I want you to stand up for this next one. And if you have a wall or a chair, uh, just keep it nearby for one of our future exercises that we'll be doing. So for the shoulder scapula area, I want you to pretend that the palms of your hand or your hands have super glue on them, right? So we've got our sticky super glue and we're gonna stick them on our sides, the sides of our legs or at our hips, wherever our hands fall. So because of that super glue, it prevents us from moving our entire arm, right? So the hope of that, or the, I guess to visualize, you really wanna focus, we're gonna do some shoulder rotations and you wanna really focus on keeping the rest of your arms stable and just really focus on rotating those shoulders. So we're gonna do five forward circles, nice and slow, five backward circles, nice and slow. We'll start with forward. Get those super glued hands, stick them to your side, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. And backwards, here we go, same thing. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful, that's our shoulders and scapula area. Next, we're going to move on to our elbows. So for this one, it seems really simple. In fact, so simple to the point where you're like, does it even do anything? But I promise you that it does. 
Um, think about the positions you're sitting in. You probably aren't moving your elbows very often. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start with your right hand. Take your right hand and bend that elbow. Take your left hand, hold it underneath the elbow to stabilize the joint. And basically all you're gonna do is just go up in an up and down motion, almost kind of like a hinge, right? Cause your elbow is a hinge. We're gonna do this five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Moving on, we're gonna switch, take that right hand, stabilize your left elbow joint, and same thing, five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, moving on to the next region of our body. We're gonna go to our wrists. So this one, I want you guys, we're gonna do both of them at the same time. So I want you to take your wrists, Basically, we're just going to be drawing circles, doing full circles with our wrists, okay? This is where I hear a lot of popping, especially when I use the computer for long periods of time and I'm typing um, or using the mouse. So get ready for some popping. As long as there's no pain, that's okay. We're going to start by going inward, and we're going to do five of them, and then we'll go outward. Here we go. One, two, three, four and five. Now outward, one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, moving on to our fingers and our hands. But for this one, I'm gonna have you clench your hands as tight as you can into some fists. And then after holding for a few seconds, you're gonna release and hyperextend those fingers. Really just stretch out those hands, okay? So here we go. We're gonna do five of these. Release. Two. Three. Four. And five. Perfect. And the next thing, I call this piano fingers because it's literally like you're playing the piano, right? You're just gonna rotate through those fingers, do this a couple of times one way, and then switch the other direction. Perfect. All right, so that is the upper region of our body. We're gonna move down to the lower region now. And this is where the chair or the wall or your desk is going to come in handy. So for this one, I want you to hold on to something. Maybe you're really cool and you don't need any sort of balance, but I think it really helps you to be able to get that full range of motion if you can't hold on to something. So you're gonna start off by, let me adjust my camera so you can see. You're going to start off by lifting your right leg off the ground, okay? So it's not touching the ground anymore. And we're just gonna draw circles, really focusing on that hip joint, right? So we're gonna start by going inward, doing five of these, followed by five outward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And outward, here we go. One two, three, four, and five. Moving on to our left leg, same thing. Keep that right leg flat, lift the left leg up off of the ground, and we're gonna do five circles inward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and outward. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful, you guys. Maybe you're feeling starting to feel good. I know I am. It's amazing what just rotating our joints can do. All right, next thing we're gonna do are our knees. So for our knees, same thing, you're gonna grab an office chair, a wall, whatever you need. And it's very similar to what we did with our elbows, right, on that joint or on that hinge joint. So what we're gonna do is we're simply just going to start, I'm gonna start with my left leg, start with whatever leg you feel is best, and you're gonna bend all the way up as far as it'll go, and then all the way out, okay? So it's like that hinge joint as well, the door hinge almost, right? So we're gonna do this five times. So that was two, three, four, and five. And next, we're gonna move on to our right leg, or sorry, our right knee. So same thing, we're gonna bend it up as far as it will go, and then extend it as far out as it will go. Here we go, four more. Two, 
three, four, and five. Perfect, that is our knees. Moving on to our ankles. This is very similar to our wrists, right? So, except I guess if you sit in a chair, you could do both at the same time. But since we're already standing, grab onto that chair, lift your right leg up off the ground, and you're gonna draw some circles with your ankle, okay? Just your ankle. Notice how we're not using the full range of motion with our hip, just our ankle. So we're gonna do five circles inward, followed by five circles outward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now outward. One, two, three, four, and five. Switching over to our left ankle. Lift that foot off the ground, and we're going to start by doing five inward circles. Here we go. Draw those circles with your ankle. One, two, three, four, and five. Now outward. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Moving on to our toes and our feet. We're going to do a couple of different things with this. Looks uh, like I've got my table in the way, so bear with me. So what you're going to do is you're going to pretend like your big toes have super glue on them, right? Kind of like our palms of our hands. And they are stuck flat to the ground. So you're going to keep those big toes flat. And some people have noticed when I've taught this exercise that they can't do this. So if you can't do it, that is okay. There's nothing wrong with you. Take your big toes, keep them flat, and raise your four baby toes or your baby toes up towards the ceiling. And you're just going to do these in pulses. So lifting those baby toes up and down, up and down, keeping those big toes flat on the ground, up and down, up and down. Perfect. Now we're going to switch. I want you to pretend like the four baby toes have super glue, but your big toes don't. So same thing, keep those four baby toes flat on the ground while you take your big, uh, your big toes and lift them up in pulses up towards the ceiling or the sky. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Next thing I want you to do is play the pianos with your toes if you can, kind of like what we did with our fingers. You'll just kind of rotate through. Do it a couple of times, one direction, followed by the other direction. And then you can just kind of clench your toes, your feet, and that concludes the toes and feet region. All right, so just to reiterate, this is the CARS exercise outline. It's the basic way, but if you have other movements that you want to incorporate into uh, those different joint systems, you can. This is just kind of a rough overview and to give you some ideas. Um, I personally like CARS because it looks a lot more normal to do at your desk than some of the other CAR, or sorry, excuse me, than some of the other exercises those wellness companies out there promote. Um, like one of them was glute scrunches. I'm like, okay, People probably don't want to look over next door and see their coworker doing some glute scrunches. So, or maybe you're working from home and that's fine. But I love the cars exercise because it's so simple. It takes little to no effort. You can, you know, there's not a starter or beginner um, as far as your ability to perform these exercises. So um, I would challenge you guys now that you've kind of learned about the basics of the cars movements and exercises to find some time each day, whether it's during your work day, before you get out of bed in the morning, or before you go to bed, that you can go through these CARS exercises. And if, does anyone have any questions? That's kind of the end of my presentation. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madison. I'm gonna stop the recording now.